Hey Dungebags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome to a little bit of an unexpected video. Uh, I decided it's time to start mod reviews, and basically today I'm just going to get started in with it and explain where we're going along. Today we're reviewing two mods, which is the Minimap mod and the Timber mod. And both these are going to be important when we start the series Dunchcraft, which is coming to my channel soon. Uh, not, not fairly soon, but in probably a month and a half. I'm going to try every week, or maybe a month if we're lucky. I'm going to try every week to do one of these mod reviews and go over every uh, thing until... Actually, I'm going to time set day really quick here. Uh, sorry, uh, th this is really unexpected. I didn't think I was going to be doing this today, so, or wait, time set day, <sighs> time set day, there we go, I didn't think I was going to be doing this video today, so that's why I'm a little unprepared, and I'm going to put some of this stuff away, uh, first of all, I want to get into the mini map features, the mini map's just right over here, uh, I, it doesn't show my mouse on the screen, but you can add waypoints to the game, like, let's say I wanted to make a waypoint here, I just say, uh, waypoint name mod review and then that would be current or I, you could change it if you wanted to but there's not really a point so it would add a little waypoint darn okay so I have to go back and exit menu so you can do these in survival to easily set your spot and it'll tell you how far away it is and everything and it's really handy for if you want to I guess just mess around and if you if you noticed it's a little laggy that's because I haven't yet installed the Optifine mod because I have to install that last before I do anything and I didn't want to take a chance of the mod review getting ruined in future mod reviews because I installed Optifine too early I'm pretty sure you're supposed to install it last anyway because then I don't know it's just something that happens uh, there are more features to the thing you just press M to get to them you can change it so you get a death death point which means that it'll give you a waypoint to get back to your death point I think I'm pretty sure I <laughs> I don't really want to test that right now but I'm pretty sure that's how it works uh, you can enable or disable the map just in case uh, let's play so let's say you're playing a custom map and you're not supposed to give away the different or it's not supposed to have a map or something then you just disable it so you don't mess anything up and there's a lot of different things you can change textures you can uh, put the map scale on different make the map look uh, lighter on the screen you can uh, have a large map label I don't see why you'd want that uh, there's just a lot of different features in this and this is the smaller one and I didn't feel like doing an entire mod review on just the um, thing so oh yeah you can change the texture too oh I think I already said that oh yeah there's a map shape too where you can do uh, I don't know I feel like I have a buzz in my ear right now hello hello buzz in my ear okay never mind there isn't you can make it round or square basically and that one I kind of like a little bit better. I'm not sure actually. Uh, let, let's test to see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, so it turns with you instead of uh, kind of. It, it's kind of confusing, but at least it shows you where north is. So uh, I'm going to turn it actually because I don't like the circle one as much. And then we'll get to the timber mod because there's a few things I need to talk about in the timber mod. So first of all, I'm going to switch that back and let me see exit menu. Oh yeah, this one, this one doesn't move, that's what's different. Uh, it moves to which way you're moving, but it doesn't actually turn the map. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't really like how it spins in the other one, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I just realized there's a jungle over there. I can show my example perfectly. Uh, I was testing a little bit over here, as you can see, but basically I'm going to test out the timber mod now and show you guys kind of how it works. So game mode S for now, so I can show you guys this. First of all, the timber mod is a really handy tool. As you can see, I have a plain wooden axe here, and it'll chop down this entire tree with only using one use, and that's really cool. And then it'll also take down every part of the tree, so if there, there's like a little part that's disconnected from the rest, then you can kind of, uh, it'll, it'll chop that down too. And it'll take a minute for all of them to come down because the leaves have to disappear so you'll kind of just have to wait around but as you can see you can get a lot of wood from this that wasn't all from this tree by the way that was jungle wood i was testing earlier this is spruce wood 
so sometimes it'll glitch and just kind of sit there like it's ready to be picked up and then we'll just keep falling repeatedly but that's just kind of you got to deal with bugs and everything and also it's a little weird sometimes if you chop above the bottom block then it'll only chop the blocks above that makes sense but it kind of is a little annoying if you're trying to chop down a tree and you always have to chop down the bottom block but it's kind of it's it's okay so you can basically get a lot of uses out of your wooden axe and another thing is if you hold shift then the blocks won't disappear so let's say you're making an entire house out of wood and you misplaced a block or something you don't want to have to chop it down and chop down your entire house so you just hold shift and it'll chop them down one by one instead and now I'm gonna show you guys another thing which is the next part of this review and there's the other piece of wood uh, I didn't know there was a jungle over there so I was going to set it up but I just noticed that jungle in the distance and I'm gonna show you guys uh, another cool feature of this as you can see the jungle trees are very 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 big I'm gonna actually go to this one because it's a little farther into the jungle and it looks a little better because uh, it's not all brown and junk so I'm gonna switch back to game mode S and as you can see this tree is gigantic and all we have to do is chop down oh wait I'm still in creative okay uh, yeah it, it took a second to change so that's why it messed up and this is gonna take a second so there we go uh, darn okay there <laughs> I don't know why it lagged so much there but as you can see it just rained wood and we get a ton of wood from this tree only using basically one use of the axe which is really really nice like when especially when you're starting minecraft you can just do that if you spawn in a jungle and it'll just give you a ton of wood to start with like this is all wood from before but after you chop down a few trees you'll have a few 64 stacks i'm pretty sure or at least one 64 stack i'm trying to check but yeah if you don't want to chop down the entire thing like if you want to make a tree house let's say you can just shift and uh dig it out using that and it's not very hard this is a really convenient mod and i'm trying to do that for convenience in dungecraft oh it won't destroy the blocks below it but it will next to it so let's say you're you have a sideways tree or something i don't know why you'd need that uh but it'll chop down those too so it's really cool how you can kind of do that so let's say you want to grow wood really fast then you kind of just uh I'll, I'll show an example right here as you can see the waypoints is still over there uh, let's say you want to get some wood really fast and you've got the timber mod installed you just grow your tree uh, okay there I oh, see it only takes four bone meal um, so you grow your tree and you just take the axe and it's like oh hey one use boom the entire tree is down I should have showed with something more fast but I did want to show that the wooden axe only takes uh, normally it that uh, you wouldn't be able to chop down this entire tree by the time the wooden axe is gone so as you can see it'll chop down the entirety of the tree not just a little bit and that's basically I, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say but that's basically it see if the woods even uh, I'm gonna show you guys this example real quick before we end see how this woods kind of disconnected from the rest of them where the middle thing is pointing I think it'll even chop down that for some reason yep it chops down that too even though it's not connected it's still part of the tree which is a really cool feature because that way it doesn't leave you with parts of the tree still left and this is just a really good way to get wood as you can already tell there is a ton of wood you can get and you can just completely demolish entire <laughs> rainforests just using a wooden axe which is really cool and uh, it's kind of works how it is in real life I guess it makes it makes the game a little more realistic other than you know the floating leaves in the air but typically when you chop down a tree the tree doesn't just stay there the entire thing comes out down if you've ever seen anyone chop down a tree I live in Maine so it's I'm used to that like people are stereotypical lumberjacks here and everything so I guess that's just kind of how it is and yeah so anyway I goes I, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod review I'm going to be doing a lot more there are a lot more mods to come and that was kind of repetitive but anyway uh, there's there's 
probably like 10 mods, I no, not 10, but 6 or 7 that I still have in my list, and I'm going to try to film those as much as possible so I can upload them and get Dunchcraft started as soon as possible, because I really want to do that. And there's still a few things back in Landopolis City that I have to finish, so I'm going to do those before we start Dunchcraft 2. And as you can see, these mods are vo both very helpful to your survival and make things a lot more convenient, which convenience is key when we're talking about Dunchcraft. And, oh, I also forgot to mention on the mini-map, you can uh, turn on a thing that'll show all the mobs, so that's pretty cool. And, so yeah, the, the convenience is key when it comes to Landopolis and Dunchcraft, because it seemed like every time I filmed, then it kind of just... It was pretty repetitive, and I'd keep going back and forth to do stuff. I'd take like 10 minutes to go chop down trees. This is gonna, these two mods are going to make things go a lot faster, especially because I can explore more with that map instead of having to do my own map. I, I like the mini map, it's really nice, and uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. I'm actually on vacation right now, so. You, you guys won't be able to contact me or anything like that most of the time. And I'm just going to try to upload these while I'm on vacation, which is very tough, by the way. And anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoy your April vacations or spring breaks or whatever if you're on it. And if not, then I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Peace out. And now you're going to die.